Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper, and today we are going to do another research video. We are going to delve into the keyword or topic of mid-century modern. So just a keyword video again, no specific niche. So there will be some furniture, there will be some lamps, there will be some glass, some collectibles all kinds of different things showing you mid-century modern. These are high, high dollar. They are over $2,500 and a lot of furniture you can find in thrift stores and at estate sales on the lower end. So if you have the space and can freight them, I do have a video on freight. I will pop that up top. Freight is not that hard to do. And if you have room to store furniture, it could mean a lot of money and income added to your reselling business. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 20 selling mid-century modern items. I did a video like this about a year ago. I am going to, I think after this week, we'll concentrate on more of the lower dollar items. And by lower, I mean probably that $500 and under mark, not super low because when you go too low, what happens is there are so, so many, it would be hard to really pick which ones to show you. So I'll probably do a set for a month of $500 and less on different topics. So let me know your favorite topics that you want me to do those $500 and less videos on down in the comments. So I will know these upcoming four weeks, which topics to cover. And let's go ahead and get started on mid-century modern. All right, we are gonna start off with these two vintage oversized mid-century modern table lamps. They did put lights, space age, and ceramic. These sold for $2,500. It is for the pair of two. It does say free standard shipping, so I don't know if they did local pickup or if they did freight on these, but this is something where even if it costs you $500 to ship, you're still getting $2,000 for those lamps. And let's go ahead and take a look at these pictures. These are really, really pretty. It looks like they are actually ceramic. I was thinking they were wood. It's hard to tell if they're wood or ceramic. I think they're a polished wood. They're really, really pretty. You can see the different photos that they're providing. Here you can see those cords. Cords is definitely one way to spot these older lamps. And these do not appear to be branded. You can see they are 34 inches tall, 44 with those shades. They do show here a listing. This looks like possibly on Cherish that these sold for uh, offer on $5,350. And here is another, it says they are, this says they're ceramic. So I'm really unsure if those are wood or ceramic. It says that they are Peter Volkus ceramic lamp out of California. And these were a great, great sale, $2,500. And we will go ahead and click and hit see details. And it looks like they do free shipping. So it says we'll usually ship within two days of receiving. They do have excluded Alaska, Hawaii. You can see all of the different providences. So they're just shipping to the mainland of the US. And these were a great, great sale at that $2,500. Next, this is a postmodern credenza with capiz shell door fronts and bronze legs. This one sold for $2,250. This one says free local pickup from Fort Lauderdale or $439 in freight. I am in Florida, so that is probably on the lower end of what they would have charged for that. 
And this is actually, it says strictly modern gallery. So that is all this seller does. You can see the photos here. And this one is a beautiful, beautiful credenza with the capiche shell and a great sale at $2,250. Up next is a mid-century modern giant six foot tall Black Panther Jaguar cat sculpture. This thing is big. It sold for a best offer on $2,100 plus $650 of freight. And here we'll take a look at the photos. This is taller than most people are and really, really neat. They do have it on a dolly there. They did charge that $650 for shipping. And I don't see any flaws on this one. And a great sale, best offer on $2,100. Up next is this vintage 50s Emerson tube record player, stereo console, mid-century modern. It does say Jimmy O. This one sold for $2,800. They do have free standard shipping on this. So a lot of these sellers that do the larger items will put that freight in and then they just take that out of their profit. So that's definitely something to consider once you're used to those prices on freight. Here we'll take a look. Very, very clean and well-kept Emerson record player. You can see that stereo hi-fi and looks to be in excellent, excellent condition. And there it says television and radio. I'm not sure if there's a television on this. I don't think I see one. I think that's just the company was doing that. There you can see the speakers. Again, very, very clean inside. It is restored by Jimmy O. So this one has been taken apart, put back together, and is absolutely amazing. And a great sale at $2,800. Up next, this is super neat. This is Nano Lopez Bronze Sculpture Turtle. It is named Speedy. It does say rare mid-century modern. This one sold for $2,800 with free shipping on this one as well. And we'll take a look here. This is really, really cool. There you can see the Speedy there on the side. And there is the Nano, that is the signature for Nano Lopez on the turtle. So if you see cool sculptures like this, look for signatures. Like if you look there, it's actually numbered as well. It's 359 of 830, it looks like. So numbered pieces are something to keep an eye out for as well. Here you can see that felt on the bottom. And this one was a great sale at $2,800. Next is a mid-century modern egg chair. It is a speaker chair alpha chamber by Lee West. This one sold for $2,499 with $500 of flat rate freight. I am trying to let you guys know those freight prices so you can get an idea of what people paid. Here you can see this is really, really cool the way they have these set up. And tons of mid-century modern stuff here in these photos. And this one was a great sale. So keep an eye out for those egg chairs. This one does say it has a speaker and it was a great sale at $2,499. Next is this 1970s Charles Gibbetera mid-century modern Cactus for Mode Line of California. This one sold for a best offer on $2,750, as well as $300 in shipping. And a few of you have asked me to do videos on lamps, so that might be something I will consider. Again, don't forget to put down in the comments what topics you would like to see covered for $500 and under for this next month. And this one was a great sale, $2,750. Keep your eye out for those mid-century modern lamps. Up next is a Tiffany & Co. ice bucket. This one is mid-century modern barware. It is sterling silver. This one sold for $3,150. They did do free shipping on this one. And of course, sterling silver is going to sell high. This one looks to be an immaculate condition. It is also Tiffany & Co. So this one's got quite a few things going for it. Here you can see 
Thermos brand there on the inside for that liner. You can see that Tiffany & Co. Sterling there on the bottom. So it is clearly marked three and a quarter pints. There's a little closer up of the Tiffany & Co. And this one was a great sale at $3,150. Up next is a giant Blinko Turquoise Blue Myers Architectural Size Glass Decanter. They did put Mid-Century Modern Bottle. This one sold for a best offer on $2,995. Plus, they paid $175 in shipping. And Blinko is a name to know, but it is definitely one you want to research the pieces because some of them are not overly valuable. This one's actually a little bit smaller than I was expecting. It looks like it's about 16 to 17 inches. I was thinking it was bigger. It looks like here though, with the top, maybe that was only a portion. It's showing 44 inches. I'm kind of confused by that. I think it is 44 inches tall. Not sure what that Oh, the first measurement was the stopper. So that stopper was 14 inches, but altogether it is 44 inches. So here you can see, oh, 43 inches high. It was originally $30. They do have a photo of it in the Blinko book. And this one was a great sale coming in close to $3,000 is this neat little Paul Evans sculpted bronze box. It does say it has a COA. It's mid-century modern brutalist. It does say brutalism rare. This one sold for a best offer on $3,250. They also paid $47 in shipping. And we'll take a look here. This is really, really neat. It's not very big, but it's over a $3,000 sale, which is a uh, great, great sale. Here you can see they are showing they do have the authenticity letter of provenance piece, and that definitely helps the value. Here, I believe that is the signature, but it is not something I would be able to decipher for sure. And they are showing that they are going to double box it, and that way you know it would get their shape there safely. And I think they are showing small flaws on it with that red marking. So this one was a great sale at $3,000 plus dollars. Up next is a piece of glass. This is an extremely rare Michael Harris Medina glass fish vase signed by artist Malta. It does say MCM. This one sold for a best offer on $3,800 plus free shipping. And here we can take a look. This is a really neat one. There is that signature on the bottom. I'm not sure that I would have been able to make that out, but there's the Malta there at the end. This one would have been a difficult to decipher one for me, for sure. And you can see they show it there with the Dr. Pepper bottle to give an idea of size. And this one was a great sale at a best offer on $3,800. Next, this is a really cool piece and I think one of my favorites in the video. This is Fantasia Cosmos 5000 Vintage 1970s Fiber Optics Floor Lamp. They do have a video of it, which we will take a look at here. This one sold for $3,494. Plus, they charge shipping of $477.60. So we will take a look here at their video. You can see it is working perfectly. It is changing color. If you have high price items like this, you definitely want to use that video function of eBay and show that it is working properly. That also will cover you if somebody gets it and says that it does not work. Beautiful, beautiful piece here. And we will take a look at these pictures. They are just showing the different colors that the lamp lights up and an excellent sale at almost $3,500.
what would mid-century modern be without a Holt Howard piece? This is a rare Holt Howard 1958 Pixie Ware mid-century modern devil brew liquor decanter. It does have a green base. This one was an auction, sold for $4,051 plus 13 in shipping. And we will take a look at what the auction was started at once we look at these pictures. Here on the bottom, you can see it is clearly marked 1958. Holt Howard. They are showing there is a small chip on the base there. They are showing the top of the decanter as well. Definitely want to show the cork separately in this situation. There it is with the ruler. It is just shy of 11 inches tall. And this one was a great sale. They got 32 bids. There were nine different bidders. It was a seven day auction. And the auction was started at 99 cents. So they were very, very brave. If they started at 99 cents and it only got one bid, they would have to sell it. It did not have a reserve. So keep that in mind if you are doing auctions. But this one went up to $4,051 and was a great sale. Up next is this Lauritsen wall lamps brass. It does say Lewis Polson, plus they had copper planners that went with it as well. They had two sets of these. So they have sold one set at $3,995. They do have one more set left, plus the freight is $155. This one does say they do Danish design lamps and furniture. That is their username. And we will take a look here at these lamps. I don't see that they are marked, but they are also including these planters as well. So this was kind of a com combination set and a great sale at almost $4,000. Mid-Century Moderns Vend Egg Home Sorensen Fishing Pole Floor Lamp. This is from Denmark from the 1950s. They accepted a best offer on $4,500. It was free local pickup in New Jersey or $175 in shipping. And here you can see the photos of this. Most of these in this video are not marked. There are a few that are marked. So you would need to use Google Lens to be able to identify them if you're not familiar with these. And this one was a great sale on an offer at $4,500. Next is a mid-century modern Mexican listed artist, Manuel Felgorez bronze sculpture. It does say one of one. This one sold for $4,750 plus $250 in shipping. So it was a total of $5,000. Here you can see they also show a photograph or painting of it. Really, really neat piece. This is a bigger piece. Really, really cool. And I'm trying to see here. Yes, here it is. You can see that it is signed here, the Felgarez on the bottom. It is etched into that sculpture. And this was a great sale at $4,750. So keep an eye out for those mid-century modern looking sculptures and try to look them up and identify them if you can. Up next, this is really, really neat. This is an original sign, Cynthia Sargent Scarlatti Rug, Mid-Century Modern Art. This one was an auction. It got 25 bids, sold for $5,110 plus $55 in shipping. This is a super cool rug. I would not have thought it would sell for over $5,000, though I will tell you that. Now, here you can see the CS in the rug there. That is the signature for Cynthia Sargent. And on the back here, you can see it does have a sticker as well, identifying Cynthia Sargent, 100% virgin wool hooked on cotton backing. And this was handmade in Mexico. Really, look at it on the wall, how it would look. Super, super neat pictures that they're showing with how that could be displayed and great sale of $5,100. We'll go ahead and take a look at the bids. 
looks like there were five bidders, 25 bids. It was a seven day auction. And this one was started at a dollar. So it's another brave seller starting at low and knowing that they have a rare valuable piece and a great sale at over $5,000. With this Pablo Picasso Medora piece, we are up to our top five. This is a Pablo Picasso Medora pottery plate. It does say Do Oso Birds 1963 rare item. They do say refer to Christie's sale. It sold for over $7,500. This one they accepted a best offer on $5,200 plus $42 or $40 in shipping. And here you can see this plate up close beautiful beautiful piece that looks like it might be a chip in the paint i'm not sure if that's part of the design or a chip and i think these are a couple of little paint chips that they're showing on here on the back you can see it is 22 of 750 edition picasso from 95 and again they are showing every little thing that be, could be considered a defect when you have something this valuable. You want to make sure to do that. And this was a great sale. Best offer on $5,200. This is a really, really cool kitty cat chair. This is Eam Steinberg cat chair, serialized and limited edition by Herman Miller. Herman Miller furniture is very, very valuable. This sold for a best offer on $5,499. It also had shipping of $224. And this was a really good sale. Over $5,000. You can see the different pictures of the cat chair here. On the bottom, you can see it is clearly marked Eames Fiberglass with Steinberg Cat and Herman Miller. So very, very easy to identify this. There is the numbered marking and they are showing it there in the box that they will ship it in. And a great sale at $5,499, but they did accept a best offer. Up next is another bronze sculpture, super cool stingray. This says fine vintage Mexican modern expressionist bronze sculpture by Victor Salmones. This one sold for $6,500. It was local pickup only and it sold from Orange, California. This is super, super cool with the guy riding the stingray and they don't even have the subject matter. So I'm assuming that artist was the draw on this. This is a really, really neat piece. Here you can see the Simon, Simone's, Salmone's five of, it looks like 10. So there, this is a very, very limited edition. It's not overly big, but they are showing the wear there. It looks like this thing might've been in somebody's yard, which is absolutely crazy and a great sale at $6,500. All right, time for our top two. This is a pair of mid-century leather sling lounge chairs by Karen Mobring in Sweden from the 1970s. These sold for a best offer on $6,900 plus $600 in freight. And these are in excellent condition as well. There is some wear to that leather there on the back. They are showing and there's some looks to be maybe watermarks, but the wood itself looks to be in excellent condition. Great, great sale. Not perfect. There's definitely some show of age on the leather, but great sale, a best offer on $6,900. All right, this is our top selling item for the mid-century modern keyword. This is an Evelyn Ackerman Mosaic Era. This one sold for a best offer on $8,000. They did do free shipping. And this is a mosaic piece. You can see it is clearly marked Era and Evelyn Ackerman. Really, really neat. I think it's a wall hanging and this one is a great sale, best offer on $8,000.
So I do want to say again, I'm going to put this up here again. When you see stuff that catches your eye and it is marked, definitely look it up. So for this, you would have simply looked up Era Evelyn Ackerman. This sale, as well as others, would have come up and you would have known approximate value. And this one, again, was a great, great sale. All right. That is the end of everything. I hope you have enjoyed. Again, put down in the comments, what do you want to see me do research on? And I will concentrate on $500 and less. And we will do that for the next month. I do one to two research videos a week. So for we're at, we're almost at the end of March. So pretty much for the rest of March and April, we will do $500 and less. So stuff that you're more likely to find. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. And I will see you on the next one.